This real quick video is how to configure a profile on the Garmin OTR 800 or 1000. Starting from this main screen, we're going to click the car icon. After we click the car icon, we're going to click the plus icon to add another profile. We'll select tractor, and then we're going to tell it we have one trailer. Then we'll configure our maximum height, which is the height of our trailer, 13.6, the maximum width, which is 8.6, and then we're going to get the length, which is 75 feet. Now yours may be different. Configure yours. I configure my weight for 70,000 pounds. You configure what you need. Next is your hazmat categories. I'm not going to configure any for this profile, but I will for another. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the wrench icon at the bottom, and I'm going to click on the Hamburg menu at the top left. This allows me to rename the profile whatever I like. I'm going to call this one loaded. Now we can change other things such as the kingpin to rear axle length. If you have 40 feet in there, that is the shortest state, which is California. We'll go ahead and add in our maximum single axle weight and our maximum tandem axle weights. By adding in your maximum govern speed, this is important because it will cause the GPS to give a more accurate arrival time because it will use your speed or the speed limit, whichever is lower. Now, personally, I often haul corrosive, so I'm going to make a second profile really quickly, clicking through and choosing corrosive. This will keep me from ever driving on roads that have limitations against corrosive, and I'll be able to quickly switch back and forth. I will name one profile loaded, the other profile corrosive. Now, at any time, I can quickly switch between loaded, corrosive, or car if I should be using this in my private vehicle. You can also add a profile for bobtail, or maybe you haul a different type of corrosive, or maybe you haul double sometimes. You can add that, and then you can easily click between the profiles. And always remember, look at the signs. If it says you can't go under that bridge, don't go under that bridge.